Hello viewers, welcome to another video where we'll talk about a very well known and popular syntax that is called for all entries or FAE in short. So question is, is this still relevant in current uh, advanced type of technologies that we are using or do you have any some other options or feasibility there, right? So in this video, we'll try to explore that. Stay tuned in the end. I hope this will be useful to you. So how this for all entries works actually? So it works differently in different type of ABAP release, okay? Uh, obviously the database is also important. So the video or thumbnail which I'm showing on the screen now, so that video I created way long back, almost two years back. And I used the HANA database, but the ABAP release was below 7.50. And there I tried to create a comparison like between the for all entries and join, which one is better? And uh, what are the different basis parameters that can influence the behavior of for all entries? Uh, along with the FDA, FDA is nothing but the first data access, right? So that I try to explain and where the join basically uh, own the race because join is better than for all entries because it, it starts in one shot. Whereas for all entries works kind of a select within loop, though we are not writing any uh, explicit way, but implicitly it behaves as a select within loop. But when the it works in 7.50 on the same of HANA database, it's a little bit different. Right? So that is where this video comes and I'll try to explain what are the different alternatives and you know, approaches that currently we can leverage on the current advanced ABAP technologies. So question is, do you have any better solution? Because we know join is a good approach um, than for all entries. But let's look at the simple program. The thing is I'm getting data from a slide table and I'm using the same table using a for all entries to get the data from a booking table. Right? This is kind of a logic pretty well known to you. And uh, you can also uh, say like, hey, I can just join these two tables, a slide and his book, right? Yes, you can definitely do because they have a kind of a matching fields and yeah, it is feasible. But just think of uh, in a production scenario where this table might get filled up from other different tables and probably kind of a joins or unions, whatever, right? This table gets filled in. And also this table can different business processing logic can also be involved there, right? To, to calculate certain fields or, you know, columns of this table. And eventually this table will be getting uh, filled in, right? Before coming to this uh, query, right? So obviously those all complicated logic and this is book cannot be joined that easily, right? So yeah, this example is not a good example, I know but uh, i think you are getting the idea so question is do you have some better approach something doable yes we have something a good news let's see and the thing is two options been introduced uh, from 7.50 there is something called a gtt or global temporary table and from 7.52 onwards there is a, a like kind of a magic it works and that's the joining two internal tables right so internal tables yeah we can join just like a database table. I know it is really, I, I never seen this, but uh, probably we'll explore in this video that how this works. Now global temporary table is actually a database table. So let's create from AC11, gtt underscore maybe a slide, right? So this kind of a table is actually should have a very minimalistic kind of a column or fields, right? And we can build it um, from AC11. Okay, so you can create it and uh, we can see GTT demo kind of and the de delivery class in this case should be selected as L which is called table for storing temporary data and delivered empty. So this is the type. Uh, yeah, allowed with restriction is fine because this table is not going to be maintainable or this table is not going to be displayed over AC16. Okay, so just remember that. So let's put a client field first with a key field and I think that's good. Next we put care ID is also a key field. I think that's good. Let's put connection ID or con ID. Um, all right. So this uh, three things we just filled in and let's go to technical settings. Yes, I want to save it as a local object and let's go here just for you know basic example i'm trying to create a basic table all right so this is still a transparent table it's not yet a you know, global temporary table though we have just selected this delivery class right now what you can do we can click on the extras and click on this change display table category and you'll see something up pop up like that 
So I'm using an above 1909 trial version and hence I'm seeing this kind of an option but in your productive uh, you know, system you may get a few more options like pool table, cluster table etc. Anyway, so let's click this global temporary table and look at this uh, change over here. The moment I click on the green tick, it's changed to global temporary table now. So let's check a syntax and hopefully everything should be fine. No error. So activate it. So this is our global temporary table, which we'll be using in our uh, program now. So for the interest of time, I just, you know, thought to create this code and nothing much I have done. Just using a subquery to fill the data uh, in my GTT that's the first thing and you just notice i didn't put any commit work okay we should not put it and second thing is now i'm making the simple join between this uh, gtt and the uh, booking table right and finally i'm deleting the data from this gtt right so let's quickly debug it just to see things how it's working so currently um, we are about to execute this command but before that let's this one already executed so let's see how many records been fetched 28782 already fetched from a normal for all entries right and now put that insert and then uh, insertion done and now you can do a join join is first it's done and uh, thing is like yeah it's the same record that been fetched and now deleting and that's all so that way the first one we have just you know explained which is an using gtt and let's look at the second one and again, I have written already the code over here to save certain time. And I'm using a distinct this time. Ideally, when I just, you know, showed the first example, I should have used the distinct. Because for all entries, remove the duplicates by its own. And that's a performance intensive. Okay, so that's why better we should always use a distinct or maybe delete adjacent duplicates uh, deleting kind of. So that syntax you can use as well. All right, so let's look at our final example where I'm using an internal tables so it's not a two internal tables but joining between internal tables kind of so yeah that's the syntax to get the data from the table uh, of a slide and putting into a slide one now i'm making a join inner join with a slide one awesome with the with the database table is book right and same query same logic nothing much different so let's activate this and just check the things how it's working uh all right so let's run and yeah, it's 14 distinct to, uh, distinct values and now check this second one. Yeah, the same number of records. It's working pretty well. So what the what the takeaway from this thing? So you mean like whenever I'll see a for all entries, I should either go by this uh, join tables or maybe with this GTT? Not really, because if you're on HANA, then internally SAP will perform this kind of actions without your knowledge. OK, if you just write a for all entries, eventually it will not be that for all entries or select kind of a okay it will basically create kind of a uh, gtt uh, without your knowledge dynamically it will create it will fill that uh, and then it will make a join with the gtt so for all entries you can use without any headache because for all entries you know certain limitations are there uh, it cannot um, support the sql expression kind of a case statement or maybe certain string operations and also you cannot use the union with an for all entries as well as the group by so those kind of things if you want to use it and you have your ABAP release 7.50 onwards then you can try this option called GTT or even if it's 7.52 uh, then you can again use the internal table to join right so of course I'm not saying like for all entries you just don't need to use it it's not dying it's there but uh, internally SAP converts this kind of thing with a dynamic GTT Hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Short will connect again to a new topic. Till then, goodbye.